Hi, sweeties. We're going to have a wine bar at home. Thanks to New Air for sponsoring this video and sending this New Air 16 bottle wine fridge. It is the New Air NBC 160SS00. And three things I love about it are that it is portable. You can move it to any room you like. It protects your wine from UV light and it keeps it at the perfect storage temperature that you can adjust. I keep mine at 55 degrees. To make our wine bar at home complete, we're gonna make ourselves a lovely charcuterie plate and crack open a bottle of delicious rosé and do a little taste test. I'm gonna show you all the measurements, the insides, the outsides, the upside downs, but first, please, Subscribe to Sweet Savant, hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and now let's get into this new Air 16 bottle wine fridge. Let's get this measured up at 17 inches across. Just about 20 inches high and 18 and a half inches deep. You could put it in your office. That'll be a fun office, right? Your living room, your bedroom. Talk about a wine bar at home. Let's open it up and see what we got on the inside. So the New Air 16 bottle wine fridge comes with a rack across the top where you can lay four bottles flat. It's got a little space, a little shelf back here with some storage space and then some space to stand up bottles. Temperature controls, it's got a light and you can change it from Celsius to, to read in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Let's fill this bad boy up with some tasty wine. It's been chilling for about an hour, so it's nice and cool. We're gonna start with some light, crisp Beach House Sauvignon Blanc. I'm gonna lay those on the top rack on the side. We have some McBride Sisters Sparkling Rosé. McBride Sister is a woman-owned, black-owned winery. Um, they've got the Chardonnay there and some Sauvignon Blanc from McBride Sisters, very nice. A little Veuve Clicquot for celebrations. My realtor gave that to us when we purchased our new home. Oh, back to that uh, McBride Sisters. We've got the Black Girl Magic Red. We've got the Black Girl Magic Riesling. And yes, we've got that Black Girl Magic Rosé. I'm going to crack that open in just a little bit and do a little taste test for you. And I've got room to spare. Tell me your favorite bottle of wine in the comments and maybe I'll add it to my collection. Let's get our wine glasses and a pretty tray. I'm gonna set these on top of this wine refrigerator, but you should not store anything heavy on top of the wine fridge. This is really just for show so I can make a little pretty vignette for you. You wanna make sure that this has proper ventilation. Is it even a wine bar if you don't have charcuterie? Let's start with some raw almonds, unsalted, untoasted. Some grapes, I love a red grape, nice and chilled. Sliced salami, fresh ripe strawberries. A few crackers, it's just like a buttery cracker. Some Edam cheese, it's a mild buttery cheese. Buttery, sounds like a theme here. Some more nuts, these are salted mixed nuts. Olives, for a little salty to go with some of that sweet. A blood orange, so pretty more salami more salami and even more salami i think salami is my favorite food group and we're going to finish off with more strawberries i can use my bare hands for this because this is just for me and my husband if i was making this for guests i'd wear gloves now let's bring this on over to our wine bar maybe cue up our favorite show or movie Now it's time to pour the wine and I have opened a bottle of Black Girl Magic Rosé. Pour one glass for me and 
a glass for him. He's going to join me later. And it's a beautiful color. Look at that. I got to take a little bit of a whiff. Ooh, that smells like heaven. Let's give the glass a swirl. Observe that color. I think it's beautiful. And now let's give it a sniff and see what we smell. Mm, and to me, I smell strawberries. I smell a bit of gardenia and it's heavenly. It's the scent is intoxicating. So let's give it a sip and see what we think. And I find it just it's refreshing. It's off dry, not at all sweet, but it's not like super dry. And I definitely taste like red fruit, strawberries, raspberry, and a bit of grapefruit to me really stands out. And I always like to have a piece of cheese or something. First I taste it with no food, and then I taste it with maybe a little cheese and see how the, the food affects the wine. This is just lovely. If you would like more details about this new air wine fridge, please check the description box below. I'll have lots more information as well as a link and a promo code. If you decide to purchase the new air wine fridge, you'll get a discount for a limited time only. So please check that description box and leave me a comment. If you have any questions about the wine fridge and let me know your favorite wine, what bottle of wine should I add to my new wine fridge for my next wine bar at home day? And let me know if you have any questions about some of the wines that I stocked in my fridge. Maybe I'll do another tasting. Uh, full disclosure, I already drank those two Beach House wine <laughs> bottles, so those are gone. But any of the other ones you have questions about, if you want me to do a tasting, maybe I'll do a live tasting. We can do um, some live broadcasts. So if you're interested in me doing some wine tastings live, let me know in the comments. And maybe that's something that we can get started here on Sweet Savant. Well, now that I've got my little cozy wine bar corner all set up, we're going to watch our favorite show. We're going to watch some Lovecraft Country. Maybe we'll watch a couple of episodes of The Boys. What are y'all watching these days? I'd love to know. Thank you to New Air for sponsoring this video. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up that notification bell and y'all have a delicious day.